Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to do post processing of the simulation of the rotating body uh, cylinder two dimensional. And let's get started. So after we finish the simulation, we will have this log uh, file log dot simple form. The first thing the first thing is to do is um, to to create the residual plot of the of the simulation. So the first step is to do the form lock here and do it the lock simple form file. The form lock command will produce the residual uh, data for for the for the simulation. So let's wait. So it's now finished, and as you can see, we have this new folder logs, and we have a lot of uh, information here. So how do we plot the residual? We can go on to the, for example, the GNU plot, GNU plot, to plot the data, and change directory to the directory we work here. Okay, we have this one. Now do the several command here. So set log scale to y axis. Now do the plot. Plot. The first uh, parameters we want to plot, or the first field we want to plot, is the pressure and the velocity because we only need, we only interest on those two uh, variables here. With length, with the title of P. Let's see the result. So this is the result for the pressure, and go on with the, the speed or the velocity. Here we use the the U X maybe. As you can see, we have the U X here. U X and U Z only. Okay. So U X O with line U X. U Z O with line. The title will be U Z. Apply. So as you can see, we have this a result of the residual, and I think it's quite good because we have a very small residual for for the speed of on Z here. And also the pressure, we have a very small residual actually. So we can say the the simulation is converged here. And okay, that's all for the for the residual plot. And now we can we we can go to the paraform to to the data data analysis on the on the cylinder here. So go on to the last time step and and change the color into the speed maybe okay so in this paraform we want to extract the data of several point here or several probe as you can see we have this and we want to compare the result with the res with the result of this open form so the first thing is to here yeah, to locate the probe so this is the first probe and the location of this first probe as you can see this is the radius 20 millimeters so the x will be I use the negative here 0 0.02 meter because we want to have a positive tangential speed okay and okay and see apply As you can see, we have the speed here. This is the point ID, and this is the point we, we put, and this is the speed at the point. And also, we have a couple of information as well. Pressure, nu T, K, and epsilon. Okay, go on to the next probe, which is um, 
minus 25. So this is minus 25. Apply. Oops, we have something wrong with the result. I think because because of what? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's let's continue. So thirty. Oh, I think and I forget to put this. Click on the start form, starter form, and click on the probe. So minus zero point zero two five. Apply. As you can see, we have this speed again. Click on the starter and do the the probe location three minus zero point zero three. Apply. Okay, we have this speed again, and do the same for the next, the fourth. Yeah. Center will be zero point zero three five. Okay, we have this value and we want to conf uh, compare this value into the, the data here and also we want to create the, the the distribution or the speed distribution on the on the radius along the radius so how do we do that well it's similar to this uh, probe location we use this plot of a line and specify the the point here. The first point will be, as you can see here, we use this. So the first point will be, well, minus seven one seven eight, and the second point will be this. Okay, good. The coordinate will be zero point zero zero five, and the z will be zero point zero. 0 0.005 0 0.0 so basically we are plotting the speed along the x radius or axis <coughs> we interest our interest is only for the speed we don't need the pressure and etc so yeah um, basically we can Click on the magnitude, but we because we have this radial or tangential, I believe in yeah, this is the tangential velocity, so it must be z, right? Okay, it must be z. Okay, this is the result, and actually, you can uh, enhance the graph or put the titles, put the axis titles. And so on by using this. So, for example, this is the tangential speed. This is radius, for example. And the left axis will be the speed in meter per second. And the bottom axis title will be radius in meter. Okay, good. You can actually, you, oops, you can also um, save the figure into the screenshot and save it on, let's say, plot tangential speed. Okay, good. Let's see what we have. Okay, awesome. So, you can modify also the, the, the line uh, color, the line width, and etc. So, it depends on your need. So, after do several data steps in the para view and also with the comparison with this uh, table data, we have this data of the open form simulation. And as you can see, the the result of the open form simulation is quite good because we have a very good ratio here compared to this ratio. This ratio is from ANSYS and this is from 
uh, open form with simple form solver. So I think that's all for the uh, post processing and data analysis for this uh, two dimensional rotating body simulation. And if you have any critics or any suggestion, please comment below. And I hope you enjoy the video and see you on the next series. Bye.